get right into it. What I'm gonna have this bird, have this bird. Okay. Alright, so we are those of you might have saw a video that one of did on uh, Project Magneto. Now we uh, I remember this about what? Um, back in uh, 2009, 2008, when we used to uh, teach about the Illuminati and all that secret societies. And all yeah, the that. project Project Magneto was written in the 90s look it up and it was for because there was a big thing about the year 2000 that the computers are going to crash so they put it put together the feds put together a book uh, publication uh, called uh, project Megiddo now Megiddo represents uh, is Armageddon which represents uh, this, this system going down all right matter of fact go give me that in Megiddo give me that in uh, Armageddon uh, Revelation 16. Okay, uh, Revelation 16. First verse? Start the first verse. Revelation 16 and 1. It says, And I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, Pour your ways and pour out the vials of the of the wrath of the Heavenly Father upon the earth. But the, the vials of the wrath of the Heavenly Father upon the earth are these plagues that the, the angels, the seven angels, the seven vials that goes into the seven trumpets, which is the just complete destruction of uh, America in this system. Europe is going to not. Europe is not going to be destroyed. Rome is not going to be destroyed. Uh, only America is going to be destroyed. Now, parts of the planet are going to be. Of course, the whole Earth is going to rock back and forth like a trumpet. That's in Isaiah, uh, Isaiah ch uh, chapter 24. It's also in Revelation. Revelation 11 is about a great earthquake. So there's going to be a lot of destruction around the world, but that the people around the world on the globe is going to, they're going to build back up. The only place that's not going to be built back up is America. Yep. Uh, so second. that's going to happen with the uh, Armageddon. So come, come on. Second verse. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast. So what does that mean by a noisome and grievous sore upon them that received the mark of the beast? It's talking about anybody that gets that uh, paradigma chip in them is going gonna, gonna to become a sore. But the scriptures are saying it's going to be initiated by the angel. But it's talking about a cancer. When you look the word up, it says a sore emitting pus, which right. is a cancer. So the people that got got that chip, they're going to eventually suffer cancer. And the reason why they suffer is because it's foreign to your body, number one and number two. The way it works is it works through the 5G system. Just like your cell phone has radiation, you know, you turn your, you keep your cell phone on, smartphone, it's radiation. The radiation will be working through that chip as well. And it's going to pretty much damn near eliminate uh, the smartphone. Everything will be in that chip. Yeah, I mean, you might have a super phone, but everything that you get kind of phone can pretty much be in the chip. Yeah. Mainly when you go by itself. You're gonna take, you're gonna swipe your hand. You know? You have uh, like in Whole Foods, I went to Whole Foods. Uh, this was uh, maybe four or five months ago, maybe not even that long. And then I went back a month later, and the second time I went to that same Whole Foods. I went the last time, there was no hand scan. Then I went a month later, and they had a hand scan. I said, oh, shit. And I saw videos on it. So I did it, I, you know, I, I uh, did a little short. I put it on one of my pages. So that's the next step. So that, so they, they bring it to you piecemeal, step by step. Gradualism. Gradualism, yep. Uh, second verse. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, 
and there fell a noisome and grievous saw upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worship his image. Yeah, and worship his image means what? And it's not talking about a Caesar Bosier, you know. It's not talking about a picture of Caesar Bosier from the moron. It's talking about being a part of the system. In other words, when the, uh, the JAG came out, the C-19 came out, you had police officers, you had people in the medical field, you had people in the military, they had to get that, right? And they meant if you don't get it, you're going to die, and you're going to contaminate other people. So you had a lot of people said, no, I'm not getting it. I'm not getting it um, at all, point blank period. So they said, okay, then you're going to lose, you're going to lose your job. So a lot of them said, well, fuck it, so be it, you lose my job. And you know what wound up happening? About a year, year and change later, they were begging the people to come back to work. And then there was like a lawsuit, uh, a class action lawsuit to pay them for their back, back money. Because if, you, if you're saying, well, we're going to fire you from a job, so, sums up? Yeah, he's, he's at my age start. If you, if you, uh, if you tap the starter, he said, he said that, tap the starter. If you tap the starter, it'll, it'll, it'll start. But then you got to change this, you got to change it. Because of the cold. Come on, let's go. Okay, uh, the third verse. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. Read that again. Third verse, uh, Revelation 16 and 3. And the second angel poured out his vial upon the sea, and it became as the blood of a dead man, and every living soul died in the sea. Yeah, that's tough. When that goes, that goes hand in hand with uh, Revelation chapter 8 where it speaks about the third part of uh, the sea, a third part of the trees. And the third part represents Esau. You've got three, uh, three uh, classifications of men. You have sons of the power, sons of the, of the uh, wicked, and sons of the, uh, what's it, the sons of men. So, there was a movie out called the sons, the sons of Men. Those are the other nations. So the third part of it is the uh, sons of Esau. So anywhere Esau is in the system, is going to die. Come on. The fourth verse. And the third angel poured out his vial upon the rivers and found fountains of waters, and they became blood. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be. So that's going to be a righteous act when this place is taken out. And it is going to be taken out inside of months. Whether it be six months, 12 months, 18 months, 24 months, but we're down to months before this place goes down. How do we know that? Because all the properties are coming to pass. So at this particular time, you're supposed to be on fire. Come on, fifth verse. And I heard the angel of the waters say, Thou art righteous, O Lord, which art and was and shall be, because thou hast judged thus. But they have shed the blood of the saints and prophets. Who have shed the blood of the saints and the prophets? The Edomites. The Edomites, number one on the list, but it's talking about all the nations. But who's in power? Esau. Right. Esau is in power. Come on. It says, uh, sixth verse, For thou hast shed the blood of the saints and prophets, and thou hast given them blood to drink, for they are worthy. And I heard another... And I heard another out of the altar say, Even so, Lord, power almighty, true and righteous are thy judgments. Right, because anything the Most High does is going to be righteous judgment. Right. So when this place is taken out, it's going to be a righteous judgment. The word is called indignation. Indignation means righteous judgment, righteous anger. Because what did you do to us? What did you do to us? Give me uh, uh, Daniel, uh, Daniel 7 and 9. He tapped it. Did he tap the uh, starter? He tapped it. It's under the wall. Oh, the, the field jumped him. Oh, you got to get up under the thing. That's <laughs> yeah. it. You got to get up under there. But hey, look, brother. We're, we're, if y'all, if you know a place that can take it, we'll, we'll give you the money to tow it. But you know what? If you keep messing with it, it's, sometimes it kicks over. You know what it is? When it gets cold, it normally happens in the wintertime. Tell me I'm wrong. The, the bushings get old. 
so they don't, but eventually, like if it's hot, it'll start up. That means your, your bushings are gone. That means that's gonna be the starter, of, right? Huh? Yeah, yeah that, that's, what they're gonna do is they're gonna take the starter, take the bushings out, clean it, put it back in, but you wanna get a brand new one. Not a brand new one, but one from like the auto zone, you know? Okay. Come on. Uh, Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head like the pure wool. His throne was like... That's talking about the Heavenly Father if he came down in the form of a man. So you got these Edomites saying, when you go into Revelation uh, chapter 1, you know, 13, 14, and 15, it's always oh, meaning he's a white man. No, he's not a fucking white man. If you're a white man, that means you're cursed with leprosy. Right. That's what that means. Come on. Daniel 7 and 9, I beheld... So, the so, the, the, uh, Daniel saw the Heavenly Father. All oh, right, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's better than yeah. that, right? Mm -hmm. well, just keep your eyes open. Okay. I'm trying to help Judah out too. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if this, get the, get the skinniest guy here and they go up, go up under the hood. Go up, get the that thing. But you know what? You know what you gotta find? You gotta find like an auto zone around here. You think you throw it in. I mean, if you keep messing with this shit, it'll go. If you can tap it with a hammer, it'll, it'll kick over. Come on. Daniel 7 and 9. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the Ancient of Days did sit, whose garment was white as snow. So that's an image of the Heavenly Father, see, Yahweh. If he actually came down in the, in the form of uh, a man, that he didn't come down in the form of a man. That's a vision, right? That you know, in the book of Daniel. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, like you said, I beheld. I mean, he's looking at the vision. Mm -hmm. I beheld till the thrones were cast down, and the ancient of days did sit. That's all the kingdoms he brought down. They're all the major kingdoms: the Babylonians. Medio Persian Empire, the Greeks, which are Edomites and the Romans, ancient Romans, the new Romans. Uh, and the ancient of days that sit, whose garment was white as snow. And by the way, when this happened, this is after the thousand years has been spilled, and they were uh, in reluce. That that happened. That happened. Taking notes. That happened during the time of Christopher Columbus. That was the, the thousand years that they would be loose for a little sea of time and season, which is about 500 years. There ain't gonna be no God and make our getting together a thousand years of us in the kingdom from attacking us. That's not gonna happen. Anybody that's teaching that, don't really discourage not dealing with it. Come on. And the hair of his head like the pure wool, whose throne, uh, and the hair of his head like the pure wool, his throne was like the fiery flame, and his wheels as burning fire. Yes, that represents a gigantic ship. Because when, when Yahweh, the son of, of Yahweh, comes back, he's coming back in a gigantic ship. The size of a mountain, a large mountain. To do what? To deliver the elect of Israel. Start with the 144,000. Come on. It says, uh, 10th verse. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands, thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. Those are the angels. Read, read that again. It says, A fiery stream, a fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands, thousands ministered unto him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. Where does it end? Yeah, there's a scripture in the apartment where, uh, yeah, the angel Raphael, he was talking to a Tobit. Possibly. I gotta use the bathroom real quick. I'm gonna be quick. The angel Raphael, he was talking to Tobit. He said, I am one that stands before the Heavenly Father. You go back and forth from the presence of the Heavenly Father back to the earth, go back to the Heavenly Father. So that was the angel Raphael. So that's what they do. The angels, they, uh, the word angel means messenger. They're sent to the uh, planet Earth 
to uh, fulfill the plans of the Heavenly Father and then go back and report back to the Heavenly Father. And that's their job. And they can do that all day because they, they never get tired. The angels are pure energy. Uh, so reading on, it says, by the way, we're angels and bodies. Right. Yep, uh, 10th verse. The fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. Thousands, thousands ministered unto him, and 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. The judgment was set, and the books were opened. Yeah, the judgment represents when this place goes down and we get delivered. Now, the most is not going to have books. There's, there's what, almost 9 billion people on the earth. You really think the most is going to sit down? Okay, number one, come on up. I'm going to read the books on Okay, number two, no, you be there for the next uh, million years. It's, 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 it's parabolic. You know, it's, it's uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, allegory. Uh, poetic, poetic. It's an allegory. It's symbolic. The, ju the judgment, you're being sentenced right now. The charges are being brought against you. And then when the destruction comes, that's the sentence. Yep. Because the Most High is not going to come and judge every single body. He'll be there for a million years. A million years judging people, man. You know? The judgment is coming now. Why do you think these Christian, even my my Christian and Jake's popping out the woodwork trying to show that, uh, oh, well, you, you can be a Gentile. Y'all don't know the scriptures. Eh? We're tired of dealing with you, but frankly, we don't want to deal with you. If you Christians want to talk to me, don't talk to me. Unless you got some money. Want well, to sit down and talk to me? Give me give me fifty thousand dollars. I give you five minutes. And maybe you go kill yourself. I hate to be the one you commit suicide to. Come on. Uh, the we, we ain't got time to play with you. That's all you Christians do. You jakes and you Edomites. Like you don't bring up you don't, you got a scripture. You don't want to like this guy. There's a video put up by uh, Barack Obama. Out of Baltimore, an elder out of Baltimore, where this guy is saying, uh, here's something that you Israelites never deal with. Uh, Matthew 21 and what is it, 21 and 43, I think it is. So, somebody get that, I mean, get that real quick. Matthew 21 43. I believe it's Matthew 21 43. Oh, we avoid that. We were thinking, oh, we hope the Christian doesn't bring that on us. That'll be the end of us. There's no scripture in the Bible here. Uh, Matthew 21 to 43, it says, therefore, I, therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of heaven shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits there. So who was he talking to? Was he talking to the whole nation of Israel? No. He was talking to the wicked scribes and Pharisees, which right. represented the front of the nation. He said, the kingdom of heaven shall be taken from you and given to a nation, bringing forth the what? Uh, bringing forth the fruits there. Bringing forth the fruit there. So who's that other nation? The, the Israel of God. The Israel of the Mosai. Yeah, the, the elect. That's what it's talking about. Yep. Now if you go to the, uh, the uh, what do you call it? Uh, the commentary, which I normally go to. Then you know what they do? The first piece that they put up to match that? Uh, Romans chapter 11. Romans chapter 11 represents the uh, wild olive tree being grafted in. That's talking about Israelites that that going around saying that they were uh, Gentiles. And that goes back to the history of the Maccabees. Cornelius was one of them. The reason why Cornelius didn't know he was an Israelite as a child, because his parents didn't know, because their parents, parents, parents said, we're not going to call ourselves Israelites. We're going to follow the Greek, Greek in fashion, we're going to speak Greek. We're going to be circumcised, we're going to be men, we're going to uncircumcise ourselves. So Cornelius got out of that through the Spirit. So that's what he's talking about. When you go to Romans chapter 11, the, uh, the, the uh, wild olive branch uh, being grafted in is talking about Israel. That's why it says in the 25th, 26th verse, therefore all Israel shall be saved. Got a precept for you. Jeremiah 11, 16. The Lord called thy name a green olive tree, fair and of goodly fruit. With the noise of a great tumult, he have kindled, he have kindled fire upon it, 
and the branches of it are broken. Yep. So that's talking about the nation of Israel. The only the Gentile state of mind. Yeah, only the nation of Israel is known as the uh, olive tree. Uh, symbol of the Israelites, besides the lion and the sheep, is a, uh, the olive tree, the olive branch. Then in Jeremiah called these Israelites degenerate plants. Right. And you can see that Jacob is a gentleman. Oh, no. yeah. And you got this, this woman, this so called rapper, which is embarrassing. She's despicable. Oh. Named uh, Sexy Ray. And she was on, uh, she was on, uh, what do you call it? What's that radio station they got on? Uh, this guy, you know? uh, DJ MV and uh, oh. Charlemagne the God. She yeah. was on there. So they had this, right, they had this other chick, chick, and they were going back and forth. And she, first of all, she can't speak. She mumbles. And then she's, uh, they're saying that, you know, why you keep performing when you're pregnant? And she said, I gotta go out there and make that money. And then she said, even either my doctor said, you can't be performing like that when you're pregnant, especially like the last um, couple of months. You know, instead of cut up into uh, uh, trimesters and all that, the last couple of months before pregnancy, you can even have complications. But she's, but I gotta go out there and make that money. So she's a degenerate, man. She's a real degenerate. She was one of them. She's one of them animals on that sheet that the Peter took. In not so many words. That that the most I was showing him. See these unclean animals? Those are Israelites. Yeah, she's, a, she's despicable, man. These black women are despicable, man. That's why I did a video saying you can go deal with anybody. They're fucking black women. They're fucking black women. They're despicable, man. If you look up the word uh, despicable, it means one that thou, that one that has very much hatred for. Come on. Well, the Lord said that they're uh, reprobate something. That's, that's, uh, that's, that, that's it. Yeah, Jeremiah. The other way of saying. Degenerates. Degenerate, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeremiah, the sixth chapter, represents the Oh, there you go. Was he, was he hitting it? He was going to be hitting it? No, no, no. Oh, 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 oh. They had to, uh, to, to, because the, uh, the start is cold. When it's yeah, cold, that's what I said. That's, that's, that's what I said. Right? Yeah, you can lead him right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, yeah. It, let it warm up like that. You know what you can do if you want? Do you know if you do you know where AutoZone is around here? Uh, no, I don't. Um, talk to one of them brothers. Have Listen. one of them brothers go to AutoZone because they always got them street mechanics. So what you, what so you I have an AutoZone next to my house. You know I mean, well, so I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it running. I'm not gonna turn it off. But then what I'm gonna do when I go home, I'm gonna go to the AutoZone. AutoZone to the street well, mechanics. Why don't you just go right? Why don't you go right now? I don't want to miss camp, man. Brother, you do. You, hey, brother, your ox is in the ditch. The ox is in the ditch, man. So, just get a brother with, to go go with you and just ride it to AutoZone, man. You good, brother? Hey, ah, ah. The how it done? That, that's going to cost you about $150, $200. You good? I mean, I just spent, get the, um, get the, um, the, um, the, um, the, the, uh, the, um, Fan belt that was moving. Okay, you got to change that. That's all. So I changed it. It cost me four hundred dollars the other day. Change it. Change it. no more hundred dollars now. Hey, uh, you, you know what? Uh, talk to him and get the money. Get somebody to go with, with you. And get, tell Sakurai to give me the money. And let let us know what's going on, man. Good now. It's good now. You can turn it off and start it. The next morning, though, it ain't gonna start. <laughs> I ain't no mechanic, but I'm, I'm, I used to be a no, weekend. No, I was a, I'm a weekend what, mechanic. What I I'm a weekend mechanic. You got a lot of experience <laughs> with that stuff. Back in the day. Come on, let's go. Uh, Matthew 21 and 42 or 43. Therefore, I say unto you, the kingdom of heaven shall be taken from you and given to a nation bringing forth the fruits thereof. 
And whosoever shall fall, the given to a nation, bring forth the fruit thereof, is talking about Israelites. Yeah. That's why when you go back to Romans chapter 11, and it speaks about the wild olive branch being crafted in contrary to nature. That's why when you read down, like I said, the 25 and 26 verse, after Paul said what he said, he said, and therefore all Israel shall be saved. Why did he say that? Because you got the wild olive branch. Uh, wild olive branch. I got you know? a quick precept. Matthew 3 and 7. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. So who was he talking to? He was talking to uh, Israelites. And generation means gene, meaning you, you, you were spawned by vipers. Were they spawned by vipers? No. It's, it's a curse. The Lord was saying, you, you bunch of bitches, demons, in the book of Ezekiel, he called uh, he called the Israelites scorpions. He told Ezekiel to doubt this dwell among scorpions. Yeah, that's also a yep. yeah. Scorpions. Yep. Who's he talking about? He's talking about Israelites because they behave like scorpions. You know, very treacherous. You know, a scorpion is a very treacherous creature. So it says, uh, then the Lord told Ezekiel, I, I do send thee unto them. <laughs> so. Anyway, Matthew, the third chapter, the seventh verse. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, meaning his teaching, also his baptism, because he did baptize, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come, bring forth therefore fruits meet for repentance. So basically what John, John the Baptist was saying, basically Yahweh Shai said that years later. Okay, you're saying the kingdom of heaven is going to take, be taken away from you hypocrites, you wicked Pharisees, Sadducees, and given to a nation that bringeth forth fruits. Who is that? That's the elect. The elect. 144,000, then the multitude behind 144,000. That's it on that, Matthew 21? Yeah. Back to Daniel 7? Yeah, Daniel 7. Uh, Daniel 7 and 10. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him, thousands thousands ministered unto him, and 10,000 times 10,000 stood before him. Zechariah. Give him money. and came forth from before him thousands thousands ministered unto him and this is getting ready to happen and ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him the judgment was set and the books were open the books are open right now like i said the books were open is talking it's parabolic it's poetic it's symbolic you read the books are open right now that's why you Christians, like I said, you come around and you argue about the book. You're saying, well, we didn't do that. That wasn't me. That's what Cain did, man. Cain said what? Instead of, instead of acknowledging that was his brother, he said, that's, am I my brother's keeper? Yes, you are. That's why it says in John 8, you were murdered from, from the beginning. And he called them scribes and wicked scribes and Pharisees. He called them a bunch of devils. Why? Because they were following their spiritual father, the devil, which is the Roman, the leadership of the Roman Empire. They were set up by the Romans. Come on. 11 verse. I beheld then, because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake, I beheld even till the beast was slain. And the beast represents NATO and the EU, which includes America, in Canada, but the only place that's going to be utterly destroyed 
is uh, the part in NATO that's called America. Europe is not going to be destroyed. Rome is not going to be wiped off the map. Rome is going to be built back up. Europe is going to be built back up. Canada is going to, is going to stay intact. Certain buildings are going to fall down from the, 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 the earthquake and back and forth from the missiles. But it's going to be built. We're going to have that land. Canada is going to be our part of our land, which is Gad's land. The only place that's going to be utterly destroyed and not come back, well, two places, Israel and America. But Israel's going to be built back up, but America's not going to come back up. That's what it's talking about. Come on. I got a precept for uh, book shall be open. Right, uh, the book shall be open is is um, symbolic, like I said. The books are open right now. We're reading scriptures on you. Like I said, that's why you Christians come out from Woodward. There's another one I'm looking for, but this one is good. Uh, Psalm 85 and 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth and righteousness shall look down from heaven. Now, how is that possible through the books being open? You know, it goes with that Deuteronomy, the Deuteronomy 32 and 1. Okay. And the 1 and 2. My doctrine shall drop as the plane. Right, this will be one too. Because everybody knows about the Israelites. Everybody knows about the Hebrew Israelites. Not just in this country, but around the world. Thanks to YouTube. Thanks to the World Wide Web. Oh well, that reminds me, that reminds me of what Yahweh Shai said. He said, um, he said, uh, uh, and this gospel shall encompass the whole earth. Then the end shall come. Now, how is that possible through the internet? The, the gospel, this gospel that we're teaching, was able to go through the whole earth through the internet. Because yeah, there's no way you can cover every Israelite on the planet. As a matter of fact, an example of that is. We got a brother down there in uh, Australia, also known as the Land Down Under. Now, how did he? Well, how was he able to come into the, come into the truth? He saw us on the internet, and he was inspired to uh, go out there and teach the word. You know, so that's an example of the truth compassing the whole earth. So we're definitely in the end, because, like I said, you got a brother over there in Australia teaching the gospel, and that's clearly on the other side of the world, Australia. Uh, Deuteronomy 31, 32, 1 and 2, it says, Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. Oh, that's, that's heavy. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak and hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain, and my speech shall, and my speech shall distill as the dew. And the smell, and I'm sorry, and the small rain upon the tender herb as the showers upon the grass. So that's how this doctrine is raining on you. You can't avoid it, man. You don't want to see something. I'm not going to watch these no more videos no more. Then you got to watch the next video to see what we're saying. You yeah. miss a day, you miss a lot. Yep. There's a scripture where it says, The knowledge of the earth shall cover the earth like waters. And then uh, Yahweh Shai, he compared this knowledge as truth to living water. When he was at that well with that woman, he spoke about the living water. That's this knowledge, this truth. Now we're the Israelites, who the so-called white man is, that America is really Babylon the Great, America is gonna be destroyed, that Yahweh Shai is gonna come back and destroy this society and set up his kingdom on the planet Earth. That's the living water. Back to Daniel 7. Yep. Daniel 7 and uh, and 11. I beheld till I beheld then because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. I beheld even till the beast was slain and his the body. The beast represents the whole system, but the part that's going to be slain and never rise back up is America. Europe is going to remain. Rome is going to remain. Italy is going to remain. The earth is going to be kind of shook up and the, the, the way a map the map now compared to the map in the kingdom is different. Yeah also that beast goes back to the Roman Empire 
Because when Yahushai comes, essentially when he destroys Esau's kingdom, essentially Yahushai is destroying the last vestige. Yeah, he's good. He got it running. So I told him what to do, like what you said. So tomorrow he's going to find somebody around his way. You know, he, he lit. Oh, right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right now. Wow. Them guys are working, bro. Come on. Yeah. So when Yahushai comes and he destroys his society, he destroys Esau's kingdom, essentially he's destroying the last vestige of the Roman Empire. Because remember, America and basically this New World Order system, mainly America is, is what? A reincarnation of the Roman Empire. So when yeah, the reincarnation of NATO and the EU. Right. But the capital is America. The capital used to be Rome. Then the capital used to be Spain. Yeah. Which the reign when Rome first came to power was around about started they started to come into power around about 65 BC. And I believe it was uh, Julius Caesar that came in, you had the first triumvirate. It was I believe in 40, uh, 45 uh, BC. So when the Lord was born, he was born under, you know, under a, a tributary under the Roman Empire. Yeah, That's so. That's why he had to do a census. His father had to do a census. Yeah, so, uh, you know, so when Yahushai comes and destroyed the society, he's destroying the last vestige of what was once the Roman Empire, because America is a revisitation of the Roman Empire. That's why um, El Apostol always talks about uh, 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 DJ Trump being the reincarnation of who? Nero Caesar. Oh, yes, Nero. That's Nero. And when you look at him, yeah. Yeah, he got the same attitude as Nero. Nero you yeah. couldn't tell, tell, tell Nero, you know, they got him all in party saying, this judge is terrible, this guy is terrible. You know? They, tell, they give him a gag order, he don't want to obey the gag order. That's his attitude, because that was the same attitude that uh, Juden, that uh, Nero had, the same yeah, yeah. attitude. Uh, in the NLT, right? For Daniel 7 and 11. Everything's kingdoms are, are reincarnated and re people are reincarnated. Yeah. And those people from the ancient in another life, they come back again. So this is Rome. This, this, is, this is just not called the Roman Empire. Back then it was called the Roman Empire. Right. Yeah, because uh, in the book of Ecclesiastes, the first chapter, it says, there's no new thing under the sun. So we're under the sun, right? So this empire is not new. It's been reincarnated. Back in the day, it was known as the, Ro the ancient Roman Empire. That's what that's what Esau society is. It's nothing but the revisitation of the ancient Roman Empire because they were the Romans. The Romans were Edomites, man. The okay. dollar bill got Roman symbols on it, Egyptian symbols. You got a secret society called the Club of Rome. What's what's that all about? So now, in the in the NLT version, the same. Then you have the Treaty of Rome. The Treaty of Rome was brought together. For the EU, yeah. which was the E, the E, was the European EEC became the EU, European uh, European Union, right. and they came up with their own dollar, which is the euro. Yeah, and the, the Roman Empire you had the plebeians and the patricians. In, in this empire, you got what? The, you got the Democrats, the Democrats and the Republicans. So it's the and republic and re, and republic. Uh, means uh, back to the people, back to the people, yeah. or res publica, uh, the public thing, which is the law. Yeah, and, and the ancient you gonna, You're going to go there now? To the I, I really want to stay at camp, because I need, I need this nourishment, the, the spiritual nourishment, and then I just go tomorrow morning, and I know mechanic I was in. Okay, you do what you want to do. Bro. All right, 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 right. I, mean, I, I know you want me to go now, but I mean, I, I, I just, I need the spiritual nourishment. Yeah, I hear you, brother. I hear you, brother. I don't want to leave. No, 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 no. You don't got to leave. You know, I, I'm not going to fight you. I'm not going to fight you, brother. Well, you're telling me to go, but I'm going to take you're just like me, brother. I get, and, and when we stuck up there at your hundred bars, I'm going to make you camp. But you could tell you give me an order to leave, but we don't order. No, 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 no. Do it tomorrow. Let, let's hope you call. I'm gonna you keep know it running. Stuff. I, I keep it running. I'm but gonna then the running. next morning you had to do the same. Did you tap the uh, starter? No, I just it, it just can't. It just so if you keep going like that, I was praying to the Lord. No, it'll keep doing that. If it's not too, if it's not cold tomorrow, or it's nice and warm, it'll, it should start. So when that happens, always not happen when during the winter, right? 
always happened in the winter because they're pushing. So I need so, so I need a new start. You need it definitely. Yeah. So I'm just going to go to Oldsville tomorrow and get a new start. Yeah, yeah, put it in. okay, hey brother, you know, yeah, the yeah. water fossils, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm like, okay, it happened yesterday. I'm like, what the hell happened? Yeah, yeah, it's cold. It always happens in the cold. Put push it, just, put like if on. you was to take, hey, yeah, if you was to take, if you was a mechanic, or you a mechanic, right? You take the starter out, you can un take the shit apart, take the bushings out, clean that shit off, and put it back in and start. You know? Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on there, keep it running, and I stay at the kicks. I don't, I don't, I need that spiritual nourishment. You know? Stay, brother, stay, man. It'll suck a lot. Dead nourishment, brother. So when I need that, so I need this. Let's hold it. Keep this. Yeah, put this. Uh, Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Daniel 7:11. I beheld then, because of the voice of the great words which the horn spake. I beheld even till the beast was slain and his body destroyed. And what part of the beast? We know the beast compasses NATO and the EU, but they're not going to be destroyed. They're going to they're going to go down when when America goes down. Hope you understand? And then when we come back on the earth, if we if we elect and we make it, when we come back on the earth. We're coming back as as a mob of superheroes. Yep. We're coming back as Thanos. Now, when you look up the word Thanos, the word the, the, the superhero Thanos, right? You know what that? That's a Greek word that means death. So we coming back in the spirit of Thanos. We come, we coming back to administer death, because guess what? Esau is going to try to fight us with his weapons, and we're going to do like uh, Magneto, you you hobo sick bitch, and your guns, you turn the guns against you, man, and then you're going to try to fight through your pride. And guess what? You're gonna lose, and then you're gonna come to a point we're gonna kill enough of you where you said, "Look, we can't, we can't deal with these people." And then we're gonna lock your asses up, and that's gonna be in Europe, Italy, wherever you eat them like off, scattered through the earth. And then we're gonna enslave the whole world. So you got a billion and one more more bites. We're gonna enslave all. They're gonna do. They're gonna come with their kung fu and their weapons, and we're gonna we're gonna have fun with them. And then they're gonna realize we can't beat these people. And then you're gonna submit. But it's gonna be fast. You're gonna see some amazing shit, man. You're gonna see some amazing shit. And we can fly, we can disappear, we can reappear. You know, we can do all kind of stuff. We can kill people, we can bring them back to life. So you, you ain't gonna fuck with us. Trust me. You're gonna say it's stupid to fight these people because they're gonna kill us. And we're not gonna kill all of y'all because we need slaves. All the stuff you saw in the uh, uh, superhero movies, the men of the Lord are going to be doing that. We're going to be doing that in real life. In real life. I got, I got a precept. Yeah. Go ahead. Isaiah 40, verse 29. It says, He giveth power to the faint, and to them that have no might, he increaseth strength. Even the youths shall, shall faint and be weary. That's on this side. And the young men shall utterly fall. He's talking about the Israelites. Mm hmm. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. That's us. We're waiting upon the Lord. Right. They shall mount up with wings says, as eagles. It says, shall renew their strength. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Meaning, we're going to be changed. We're going to be in a different fashion. Go ahead. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Mm -hmm. They shall run and not be weary. And they shall walk and not faint. Yeah. So that's spiritual power. Spiritual power. power yeah. yeah. You know what scripture goes with that? Uh, Psalm 110, three. If you want to get that. Okay. Right. And then uh, another one that goes with that is Acts, the first chapter, the eighth verse, where the apostle Paul said, "You shall receive power after the Holy Spirit comes upon you." Now the Holy Spirit is definitely upon us. You can't teach this, this knowledge, this truth, accurately without the Holy Spirit. So. Definitely the Holy Spirit is on us, but the Lord said, and this is one of the last things he said before that chariot took him up. Because in the ninth verse, he talks about how a chariot came and took the Lord right in the sight of the, the uh, apostles, the disciples. So the eighth verse, he said, you shall receive power after the Holy Spirit comes upon you. Okay, go ahead. Psalms 110 verse three. So that power is that spiritual power. Go ahead. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. There you go. In the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning. 
Thou hast the dew of thy youth. Which is which is a metaphor for this knowledge. Mm -hmm. Now to back up what Pastor was saying about how we're gonna be you know the nations, how we're gonna mess them up and all that. This is Jeremiah 51 and 20. It says, Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. Matter of fact, you know what? Let me start the 19th verse. Jeremiah 15 and 51 and 19. The portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things, and Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord of hosts is his name. You might as well start the first verse. Okay. Yeah. Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. A destroying wind is talking about the fire, the radiation from the missiles. And they showed you that in that movie, Leave, Leave the World Behind. Did you see that movie, Leave the World Behind? Okay. You, got, you got Netflix? Yeah. You gotta you got watch that movie, man. They're showing you, they, they showing you that they know that America's gonna be destroyed. And at the end of the movie, they showed that from a distance, a missile hit in the city, then there was another missile that hit the city. And they already knew, then it, then it ended, right? So they already knew, the guy that Jake, he was talking about, he said, man, they, they're coming, to, all these nations around the body is coming against us. When you watch that movie closely, the guy, the Kevin Bacon, Bacon Carrot, Bacon Carrot, it's either Koreans or the Chinese or both, they teamed up. The leaflets that were sent out was red, which represents red China, communism. And on it was Arabic, which and the young boy said, oh, that word in Arabic means death to a girl. So what were they saying? That all these nations formed a union just to take America out. And that's exactly what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. The scripture says in Jeremiah, either 50 or 51, an assembly of nations. Yep. And it's 50. And then, uh, 50, if it's in 51, we're going to read uh, you know, when you read Jeremiah 51, you got to read Jeremiah 50. Really, you got to read, start from Jeremiah 49. Uh, second verse, and will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her. Babylon represents a murder. Come on. And shall empty her land. For in the How is this land going to be empty? This right. land is going to be empty because the fire is going to destroy everything. There's not going to be one thing remaining in America. It's going to, matter of fact, it's going to become a desert. Right. And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. Wait a minute, for the day of trouble, what is he talking about the day of trouble? Jacob's trouble. Jacob, when Jacob's trouble comes, that's when Esau's trouble comes, right behind him. So you guys that have fallen off, a message for you guys that fell off, you're going to take the chip and you're going to be destroyed. Uh, third verse. The best thing you can do is leave the country. Against, you ain't going to get away. You, you still got to deal with the judgment. Right. So you guys should have never made that oath to come into this circle. Scripture said, endure, endure to the end. He that do it and do it to the end is saying to be saved. Yeah, because in the book of Amos, when the Lord bring that judgment, basically what it's saying in Amos is there's, there's going to be no escape. Is that what you were getting? No, no, no. I'm looking for uh, Basically, he said the man let, let, uh, lean his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. And, and uh, Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Right. I, I, I can basically, get it. Basically, that, that means no escape from that judgment. And, and let's not forget, too, yeah, you got the nuclear missiles, but you also got the chariots of the Lord. They're going to be flying across the whole planet Earth. And those laser beams going to come out zapping people, man. That's part of the judgment of the Lord, too. That's why when you go in the book of Luke 12 and 49, the Lord said, I am come to send fire on the Earth. And what will I if it already be kindled? Now, the missiles are going to bring the fire, wall of fire. But the chariots, too, they're going to bring fire, too. Laser beams going to come out in chariots and, and zapping people. Like you saw in the movie... Um, what was that movie with uh, Tom Cruise, War of the Worlds? That literally is going to happen. But it's not Little Green Men from Mars. It's the Howisha and the Angels. Right? Uh, So-called black men. Yeah. Yeah. Bringing judgment. Yeah. Uh, Jeremiah. Hey, once again, you know how you know a good indication of how you know that your kingdom is done? When your woman no longer wants you. Mm. White, Edomite woman don't want you. 
you said yeah. it's different. You want to suggest, hey brother, hey, it's all on YouTube, man. Yeah. And hey, you got like the old episodes of, uh, like when you go to it, the white woman wants a black man, more bike. Arab women, they're they making videos. It's Arab women that say we want to get with the black man. Mm. The white woman want to get with the black man. Uh, <coughs> all, all of different nations, women, even even white women want to get with the black man, and they get with the black man. Mm. Now there was one uh, thumbnail, uh, Jerry, old Jerry Springer, from back in the '90s or whatever, and they had this white woman, good-looking woman, and she was uh, she was on the show saying, "Look, I like black men. Who does your current husband? He's white." He said, I don't love him no more. I got with this black man. I don't want to be with my, with, with my, with my white husband. So they brought him back out, and the Edomites started fighting the Jake. They started fighting. Oh, shit. And she was like, look, I don't love you no more. I love, I love yeah. black men. Wow. So there's a lot of you Edomite women that secretly love black men. But them other nations do, too. Because they see the power. They see, in the spirit, they see something coming. That's why we don't need your black woman. We can, that's why I said I gave you. I gave you the license to get you an Edomite. But just don't be going down the bench of her. If you doesn't bench of her, and she invites you, you know, dinner with the family, don't go. You know, bring her to the hood. That's it. Don't go, don't go in her neighborhood because the white boys are going to kill your ass. But guess what? You, you're a black woman. She can get a white boy from Pensonhurst and bring, a, bring him to Harlem, and you ain't going to do a damn thing. Nope. You're going to be cool with him. Because you ain't because you ain't in the power you ain't in the power of so you ain't in the power seat. All of them is gentrified now. Yeah, we got Edomites running home. Yeah, man, they're walking all the way. Because niggas don't niggas don't be going, oh hold on, we're sheep. I wish they can uh, set up a Starbucks. No. They got Starbucks in Harlem because Esau likes Starbucks. <laughs> Dutch shops run shit in Harlem. I, I, no more. <laughs> well, He's an Edomite. He's yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, I got a precept. Uh, Job 27. They're gentrifying Harlem. They're gentrifying the Bronx. Right. Job 27, 14 and 15. If his children be multiplied, it is for the sword, and his offspring shall not be satisfied with bread. Those that remain of him shall be burned, I'm sorry, shall be buried in death, and his widows shall not weep. Yeah, they're not going to weep. Mm. They don't have no love. In the kingdom, either my woman ain't going to have no love for Esau. We're going to have to force him to get with Esau. Mm. Master, I got to lay with that devil. I said, well, wait, wait a minute. You a devil too. And we got to bring more Edomites to the earth. But wait a minute. We're and not... we're going to have concubines in the kingdom. How about that? Yeah, well, wait a minute. We're not, we're not even and in... And have babies with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're not even in our power yet. They're, they're already checking for Jacob. Yep. <laughs> So how much more when the Heavenly Father put them, uh, like he said, and uh, what was that, Malachi, when I make up my jewels? How much how much more when the Heavenly Father makes up his jewels, meaning put that shine on us, because we're literally going to shine. It tells you that in uh, Matthew, what was that, the 21st chapter? The, mm -hmm. the beginning with the elect, they shall shine in the kingdom. And I'm writing them, the porno movies, videos or whatever. They got a turn, like if you see BBC, Oh yeah, BBC. BBC. You know what that means? Oh, yeah. There's always an Edomite woman with a smile on her face. Yep. You're waiting for the BBC. Yeah. I ain't talking about the British broadcast. Right, right. I was, I was going to say that. Right, right. I have a precept. Yeah, go ahead. This is Isaiah 4 and 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. Now it says seven women. It didn't say what particular nation. It just said, and then seven means a complete amount. Yeah, because we're going to have women in other nations. Yeah. Hey, brother, variety is the spice of life. Mm -hmm. We're going to have women of the other nations yeah. that we're going to be popping, but we ain't going to fall in love with them. Yeah. A and couple of times. if we have children, so be it. If we have children, so what? They're Israelites. Right. Yeah. Oh, well, they're half Edom and half. No, they're Israelites. Mm -hmm. No such thing as the half. Yeah. And you guys just say, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you, what do you uh, call the term? Uh, <laughs> Bastard, bastard, oh. meaning half. No, no, no. Mamza. Bastard, mamza, mamza, mamza. Mamza. It means a, a, a mamza means a, 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 a union of a, like a brother and sister. They have a child. That's a mamza. Oh, like incest. The incest. Yeah. Yep. It has nothing to do with uh, if you got an Edomite mother and a Jake father. 
You are what your father is. Yeah. Well, another term would be inbred. Mm. The inbred, inbred. not coming from right. the down south, you know, they're eating Yeah, yeah. That's why they, they, come out, they, come, they come out all fucked up, man. Yeah. Eyes are all cockeyed and shut. They bark, they can't talk, they bark. The, the, yeah. hill, the hills have eyes type yeah, motherfuckers. Right. It says, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. They'll be, they be waiting for you in the Appalachian Trail. <laughs> now, there's a story on the uh, people be disappearing. This trail that stretches from, what is it, uh, Georgia all the way to Maine. And mm. people can actually walk. You know, you've got Edomites mm. hike, hiking on that trail, Appalachian Trail. And people be disappearing on that on that damn trail. Mm. you got them inbreds, man. You know. Go ahead, bro. And in that day, seven. We got a video Slack. on a YouTube page called the Soft Underbelly. Oh yeah. yeah. And uh, this, <laughs> got all these crazy stories. Yep. And they got this one story of an uh, inbred. And they showed his family, and they living like hillbillies, man. They house yeah. the mess. They got dogs sleeping, they're sleeping with the dog. And if you got a little dog, I can understand if a dog sleeping in the bed. But if you got a big dog with a big dog sleeping with you, then you got certain people that's uh, walking. Instead of talking, uh -huh. they're barking and shit, you know? Yeah. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, We will eat our own bread. And you know where they got that from? Because Abraham, really Abraham and you know, Jacob and Isaac, they were imprints. But the most high allowed it at that time. Right. And that, that's, you can't do that now. No, no. no. The only relative close to you can get with is your, is your niece. But then you wouldn't do that. No. You wouldn't do that. But you can't do that. Right. You can't get with your sister. You can't get with your mother, of course. You can't get, you can't get with your father's uh, uh, wife, meaning concubine. Right. right. Even though that's not inbred, but you're, you're uncovering the nakedness of your father. Right. Yeah, and all what Pastor said, all that is covered in the law. That's when, see, before Abraham, that's before the law was put on stone. Then after Abraham, when Moses came on the scene, Ooh. all the laws was put on stone. And what he was saying is, goes back to the law. Who you can deal with, who you can't deal with. Right. Yeah, because he, he was up there for 40 days. It wasn't... It for wasn't 10 commandments. For 10 commandments, bro. Yeah, it no it wouldn't take 40 days to get, you know. And then in the pocket for it said also... That means you get a commandment every four years. <laughs> you sit here, commandment number one. That's crazy. You gotta sit there for four years. Commandment, <laughs> I mean, uh, um, Four days, sorry, four right, days. Right. No, yeah. it was, it was a round off, and scholars say it was 613 laws. Right, right. There's really more than that. Right. Because anything that Yahushai says, that's adding to the law. Mm. Yeah. Like the mark of the beast is the law. Right. It's not part of Moses' law. Right. Oh, well, there's a scripture where Yahushai said, a new law I give unto you. Mm. So that, that, which the new law was ba pretty much based on the old law. Right. Remember, there's nothing new, right? The scriptures say there's no new thing under the sun. You look up the word new from the Greek kainos, which means refreshed. That's all it means. So there ain't nothing new. Right. Yeah, because in the kingdom, we're going to be applying the same laws that was given to Moses, except for the uh, sacrifice, you know, sin right. sacrifices. But when we do ceremonies, it's going to be a, a sacrifice because we're going to go through the ceremony of killing the animal. But there's not going to be no sin sacrifices among us because we're going to be perfect. Right. Yeah. We're not going to commit sin. Right. Yeah. All right. It says, and in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread. Like you said, it didn't say seven Israelite women. Right. It said seven women. Seven women. So seven represents completion, meaning right. Right. some of you are going to have 500 women, others are going to have 1,000 women. Mm -hmm. Right. King Solomon was in his, in his uh, height. That was a little taste of 40 years of the kingdom of heaven. Come. And the king, and um, the scriptures say that the kingdom of heaven is going to be an everlasting kingdom to Solomon. Mm. Well, wait a minute. What happened to Solomon? Where is he? Mm. Oh, the kingdom is on hold. It's on pause. Mm -hmm. But it's going to come right back into power. Yep. Solomon's kingdom. So and the world, whole world is going to know that Solomon <laughs> was with Solomon. That's, how, that's why he said one... The one standing here before you is greater than Solomon. So you're talking about himself. Right. What made him greater? Because he this time he came perfect. Right. He didn't go off. He didn't get weak to them women. Right. Yep. Yep. Saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. 
Now that's talking about when? That's talking about on this side. Because in the kingdom, our women are going to, they, they don't have to lift up a finger. So that really means we're going to work, we're going to take care of ourselves, you know, just take away our approach. I'll take away your approach is to, for you to say you got a man and to ultimately have a, ch uh, a child with that man, a more than one child, right. a uh, child. Right. That happened with Elizabeth. When Elizabeth got uh, pregnant by uh, John the Baptist, uh, by um, the, the high priest, uh, Zachar Zacharias the high priest, mm -hmm. the priest, Zacharias, uh, Elizabeth said, made a statement. She said, now, the, now that this has taken away my reproach. Mm. Right. I believe that's Luke 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, because she, was, she, she wasn't able to have children, yeah, I she believe. Was old, she was old. She was old. Yeah, so. Yep. Same, same thing with similar to uh, Sarah. Hannah. Same thing with same Hannah. Thing with ah, Hannah. right, right. Yeah, because. Uh, and Sarah. Mm -hmm. Yep, because uh, uh, 1 Samuel 2 and 1. And Hannah prayed and said, My heart rejoiceth in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over mine enemies, because I rejoice in thy salvation. Because they were they were talking uh, they were talking shit about uh, about Hannah, and um, right. how I, I believe Hannah was barren. Right. And when she finally did, she was. She was. Yeah. When she finally did pray to the Lord, did the right thing, the whole time, yep. gave her, gave her son, which, which is the greatest prophet. Paul, Elijah, yeah, that's the boy. came back as John. John never fell out the truth. If you guys in the ISCPK, John never fell out the truth. So you know what, um, Anna, uh, who's the mother of John the Baptist again? Uh, um, Elizabeth. Uh, Elizabeth. Yeah. Elizabeth. Al Elizabeth. Yeah, she could have been mm -hmm. Hannah in the past one. Yeah. She could have been. Yeah, because yeah, Samuel, Samuel is uh, 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 John, John the Baptist. Baptist. Yeah. And I told him that. I told him seven minutes. He said, uh, you know what I'm saying? And they gave me that look. They gave me that look. Because they didn't say, well, you don't know what you're talking about. They just gave me that look. Oh, mm. wow, that makes sense. Mm. And he was also out there. He had to be out there. Mm. Yeah, I see that. Abraham, uh, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. Uh, Abraham is Abba, coming back. Isaac is Yahushai, and Jacob is uh, King David. Right. That makes sense. Everything is reincarnated. And that's, a, that's another thing that the Christians can't get. You want to mess with a Christian? You want to mess with a Christian? Go into the reincarnation center. They can't see it. Right. Hey, vocab can't see it. I don't even think he's going there. No, nah, yeah, okay. Come on. That's it? So, like, uh, a little bit more. Sorry. <clears throat> it says, uh, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. That's on this side. Right. In other words, you don't let us, you know, pay our rent, pay our bills. Mm -hmm. We'll pay our own bills. We'll buy our own food. Just let us, the woman is saying, let us get popped by you so we can have the children. Right. And say that we got a man. Right. Um, only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Take away our reproach. So that's take away your approach, meaning that disrespect. Right. You're on it now as a woman. And, and also, they want to be delivered because they don't want to take that that C hit. You know, they don't want to take the C hit, the MOTB. So the only way for them to survive at that time, because once Esau locks shit down, that's it. Mm -hmm. Take away our reproach. That reminds me of uh, Isaiah 32. Mm -hmm. Trembling women that that are uh, these these women, man. Look, when this society collapses, sexy Ray. Oh yeah. man, yeah. You know who's gonna catch Cardi B? Now Cardi yeah. B, you know this guy was, was she, she was dealing with Offset. Right. You know, you know she they kind of broke broke up. He went and got a a, a, a model thicker thicker than her. Yeah. She's all mad. Yeah. Look, you losing. All right, yeah, you losing. You're not winning no more. No. But guess who's guess who's the new losers? Two losers. Edomites and you damn black woman. Yep. Eve Even the serpent. Even the serpent. You Even the serpent. That. <laughs> hey, a man can get any woman. A Jake man, he can get any woman he wants. He can get a Moabite, Ammonites, yep. Edomite, any woman he wants, man. And they'll take care of him, too. Oh, yeah. Finding out, the women will find out you're not the prize. The prize is the man, right. not your women. This society has lied to you. Feminism has lied to you. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, this is a quick precept. Isaiah 30. And you can't and you can't reverse it. It's ah! going to take years for you to be in, uh, you know, dainty and beautiful. It's going to take years. You ain't going to do that overnight. I'm going to be. No, you no, 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 no. I got all these women of these, these other nations lined up. I don't got to work. They're taking care of me. They're feeding me grapes. They're rubbing my back. they giving me sex. Mm -hmm. And I don't got to pay no bills. They give me money. That's, that's beautiful. Now, now that's beautiful right there. Like, like Ray Charles. She gave me money. Yeah, because the ones, the ones of you that's going to catch the hell, the most hell in this society are you women. And here's the scripture for you. So you're going to need a man. Right. right. There's hey, there's a, I'm sorry. You, you got, there's a movie, uh, The Road. That's another good movie. That kind of goes with uh, right. his movie, Leave the World. Right, right. The Road, if y'all haven't seen that movie, you ever see that movie, The Road? If you can get that movie, that's a, that's a help. You, have, you see the movie, uh, The Book of Eli? The Road is better than The Book of Eli. Better than The Book of Eli. But anyway, at the end of it, there was this house where the main character, he shot the guy with an arrow. So he shot the guy with a flare. When he ran upstairs, the guy got hit in the chest, and there was a woman laying over him crying. Why was she crying? Because the man was providing for that woman, mm. and the woman was giving that man sex. Right. So when the man, so when the man got killed, she she knew she was going to die shortly nearby after, because the woman can't make it on their own. They can't make it on their own. And, you know, Jake, they need something. They'll knock somebody over the head. And it's going to get wild out here. Yeah. Uh, second Ezra 15 is coming, and second Ezra uh, 16 is coming, and Micah uh, 5 and 7 is coming. Oh, well, uh, in the movie uh, Leave the World Behind, the character uh, Kevin Bacon played, he said, oh, you, you guys are lucky you escaped the city. It's a real shit, shit show right about now. Something like that, he said. <laughs> he was talking about the city. Now, that lines up with the scripture. It says, it says, uh, uh, how's it go? Uh, Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. If you can get that right quick, it speaks about the city. Um, uh, man shall desire to, to what is that? The 17th verse. Matter of fact, let's change gears and go to Second Ezra. Uh, 15. Okay. It's been on me to go go back into because we're in that time. Okay. Well, and we're experiencing a small dose of uh, Second Ezra chapter 15. Any kind of yeah, that's right. All right, 2 Ezra chapter 15, verse 1. Uh, Behold, speak down the ears of my people. Who, who are the most high people? It's not the body of believers, the Christians. Uh, it's the Israelites, vocab. <coughs> so if your daddy's not an Israelite, guess what? If you're an Edomite, you're going into captivity. That's it. That's good. Yeah, the Lord, the scriptures speak about Yazari Allah, which is Hebrew for the seed of the power. Yeah. Who's the seed of the power? Yazari Allah, he seed of God. Yep, ye seed of the power, yep, right. the ye seed of the Most High. Right. Who's the seed of the Most High? The Israelites. That's right. Yazari Allah. So it's according, yeah. to, if we hear Apostle Paul said that, he said it's according to the seed. Apostle Paul clearly said that, according to the seed. So the seed is the Israelites, man. Go ahead. Okay, it says, Behold, speak down the ears of my people the words of prophecy. Which I will put. So what is the main thing we're supposed to be pushing out there? Prophecy. 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 That's it. Prophecy. Even didn't the, say keep the laws, even though you're supposed to keep open with the laws. Right. But the main thing that you're pushing is prophecy. When we teach out here, we push in prophecy. Uh -huh. That's right. That's it. Good. Which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Through what? Through the Holy Spirit. The Heavenly Father puts His words in our mouth. We're not speaking our words. He's speaking his words. This is the same thing he said to Ezekiel. Eat the roll and go and speak to, to these people and speak my words unto them. Mm -hmm. so that's exactly what we're doing. My words is whatever the scriptures say that you speak. You don't do your own thing. Right. You that's got what, certain yep. congregations, I'm sorry. You got certain yep. congregations that say, oh, you can only have one woman. You can't. Well, that's not in the scripture. That's not the Lord's word. Right. <laughs> hey, how are you got If you got four, three or four women, that's, that's on you. Right. Don't be crying at me when you got all this trouble. Yeah, yeah. Right. Brother, you, 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 lay, trouble you make your own bed. <laughs> right. Go lay it, lay it. Yep. Well, the Apostle Paul said that. He said, you shall have trouble in the church. Yep. And that's one woman. 
But yeah, um, Yahawishai, when he spoke, he spoke who? He spoke the Most High's words. He didn't speak his, his words. He kept saying, look, I come to do my father's work. Yep. He told his mother and that. And to finish his work. And to finish his work. And to fall off. What do you think he meant when he said? Exactly. You turn your back. Shai, exactly. All you guys turn your back. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, what do you think he meant when he said, uh, uh, when he told his mother, I came to do my father's work. Now, he was 12 years old. Mm. He didn't come to do his will. He didn't come to speak his words. Wow. He said that. That's what he said. He, huh. he said, yeah. oh, in the, in the prayer in John 17, he said, <laughs> when he was praying to his father, when he was praying to the heavenly father, Yahweh, he said, all the words you gave me, I gave to them. Meaning to the disciples, which became apostles. All the words you gave me, father, I gave it to them. So that's a very good point. Yahweh Shai didn't do his own will. Yeah. Yahweh Shai did the will of his father. So guess what? We're doing the will of the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai. Yep. We're doing the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai's will. And, and Yahweh Shai gave the disciples the Father's name. Oh, he sure did. That was, yeah. Well, that's in John 17. Yeah. So what's your, what's, what's your problem, Nate? You're talking about we don't have the name of the Heavenly Father who will we'll receive it in the kingdom. That's another thing you pulled right well, out of your Well, where's that in the scriptures? Because yeah. the Most High says, call on my name. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Romans 10 to 13. What does that say? Speaks about calling the name. Okay, right. How can we call? Oh, right, right, right. We have not heard. Right, right. So the Most High tells us to call the name, but then he's going to turn around and say, right. "Well, I'm not going to give you my name." Mm. That makes that that would make him a stupid God. And the Most High is not a stupid God. Yeah, the fact so we got in the, the Most and the Most High gives us uh, the secrets unto his servants the prophets. That's it. And really, the name is really not a secret, but then again, it's a secret. It's a, it's a secret to them that are not of the elect. And also, to back up what Pastor just said, um, when the Shai told us that our Father pray, the very first line begins with, Hallowed be thy name. Mm. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Now, how the hell are we going to hallow his name if we don't know it? Right. How can we hallow his name if we don't know it? Hallowed be thy name. Look up the word hallow. It means to praise. That's where you get the word praise from. And the best, last name the Lord is, uh, the Lord's name is to what? Disrespect his name by calling Christ. Right. Call him Allah. Hey, look, them Palestinians, they, they getting bombed the shit out of them. They call him Allah and this. Allah ain't came back. Right. You, you should come to your senses and realize there ain't mm -hmm. no fucking Allah. Oh, no yeah, Allah. yeah. That's, that's it. I forgot the name of that plane. I was watching, we watch sometimes some of them plane videos. They go down, they crash. Mm -hmm. They had one, uh, what's his name? Uh, I forgot the guy's name. It was an Arab pilot. Right before, I think he might have hit the water. Like over 300 miles an hour, the plane disintegrated, man. Right before you hear, now they have something called a voice, a voice uh, recorder, a co cockpit voice recorder, and it usually records the last 30 seconds. No, I'm sorry, 30 black minutes box. on oh. a plane, a plane that, that I don't know. the black box. Yeah, the black. It's also known as the black box. So you you hear the guy on the you hear him on the black box. Mm -hmm. you, 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 obviously, you hear he's about to die. Then you hear him say, Hello, what Paolo? Then psh, that was it. So wait a minute, how come Allah Allah Allah? How come Allah didn't save him? How come Allah didn't didn't deliver him? Mm -hmm. Yeah, them Palestinians are green, screaming, screaming Allah this and Allah that. Yeah. Babies are getting killed. Yeah. Where the fuck is Allah? Their mosques, they had an ancient mosque. They brought it out this week. Get, right, right. That's the, that's the Allah's mosque. What, what is Allah? You know, because they ain't no Allah, man. No, man. That's not his name. That's not his name, bro. And yep. then his name is Yahweh, and his son's name is Yahweh. Yep. Right. And it's not uh, Ye Yahuwah right. and Yeshua. All right. Damn sure ain't Jesus. Nope. No. And then the scripture where it says, uh, let, don't let the name of other gods be in your mouth. So if we don't know the name of the Heavenly Father, how, is, how are we going to fulfill that scripture? We'll be calling yeah, it. Yeah, that's that's uh, Exodus. Yeah, Exodus 23. Yeah, 13. I, I, I get it. So if that we have to know the name, so that those other names won't be in our mouth, yeah. right? Yeah. Does that make sense? Uh, Exodus. There's a scripture in Isaiah. I believe it's 40 something. It's from the movie Man Dingo. And I remember it as a kid watching the movie Man Dingo when God was going through this. Cicero was going through the scriptures. Uh, if you go, if you go to the word mention, if you go to the word mention, and it's on Isaiah, I believe it's Isaiah 45 and 11 in my 
might be Isaiah 45 and 11, or 44 and 11. I got the script, quick scripture and go ahead. Uh, Exodus 23 and 13, and in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect, and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be. Let me read that again, Exodus 23 and 13. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods, neither let it be heard out of thy mouth. So we would have to know the name of the Heavenly Father so that the name of other gods wouldn't be in our mouth. We'd have to know that it doesn't make sense for the Heavenly Father not to give us his name. Meanwhile, he say, don't make mention of the name of other gods. It doesn't right. make sense. Right. And the word uh, make mention of the name of other gods, but the word there in the Hebrew is uh, zakar. It mm. means to remember or call to mind. Mm. In other words, you can I can say God, Jesus Christ, Allah, but I'm saying that as an example. But if I'm praying to Allah, right. <laughs> that's a no-no. Right, right. Most I said that he's a jealous God visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children in the third and fourth generation mm -hmm. of them that hate. Yep. So when you call on Mosai and Christ, bless or Yeshua or Jesus or God, the most that's that's laughing in the name of the Mosai. Because you're supposed to know the name of the Mosai. Yeah. Especially if you call yourself a prophet. How the hell are you gonna call yourself a prophet and not know the name of the Mosai? <laughs> Moses had enough sense to, to know that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when he showed him all the power, he said, well, first of all, what's your name? So I can tell the people. But right. they ask me, what's that, what's that God's? Because they didn't know the most high. Right. Like that. Oh, that's heavy. Remember earlier, we were listening to the book of Isaiah. Yep. On our way down. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a scripture where in Isaiah, uh, the Lord said, I am the Lord and my glory will I not give to another. All oh, right. Yep. So here's Nate, right? He got a semblance of the truth. But he's given that glory to the name of who? Jesus Christ. Yeah. So he's given that glory to another. Yeah. So he's violating what the Heavenly Father said. Yeah. Well, that's blasphemy, blaspheme in the name of the Most High. Yeah, man. The Heavenly Father said, my glory, what's his glory? This knowledge is truth. Will I not give to another? So if you have this knowledge is truth, but you come in a different name, you're giving the Heavenly Father's glory to another. You don't think that's going to piss off the Heavenly Father? Right. Hey, look. If if uh, Apostle Paul started calling on Christ and said, "Why are you calling on Christ?" Oh, that's his name. I'm not going to deal with that guy. I'm going to kick right. him out the camp. Yeah. Or I'll leave the camp. I said, "Look, y'all got to. You know, you got no problem with Paul <laughs> saying Christ and this." I said, "Well, I'm out of here." Right. I, I hate that damn word. And first you. of all, Christ, Christ, we, Christ just means uh, it just means anointed. It's a yeah. Greek word meaning uh, that's all it is. It's, right. and it's a title. It's not even name. Right. So when you say Most High. You, but that's in the English, no. Christ is Christos in the Greek and the Latin. If you want to praise the name of the Messiah, they say we don't know the name of the Messiah, you say Most High and the Messiah blessed. And a lot of you don't even say Yahweh. Y'all don't say Yahweh Shai, y'all don't say Yahweh. Uh, Yahweh. Remember what happened to Comfort, right? Mm -hmm. He told them, well, we don't know the name, and people followed him, man. Yep. And what, what, remember what ultimately happened to him, Mosai took his ass. Right, deleted his ass. Yep. And Jesus is even worse, man. Jesus literally means what? Earth pig? It means, it means earth pig or earth dirt. Jesus, 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 yeah. Jesus. Right. Jesus means uh, he, uh, gear, gear, or hey, gear, which is earth, mm -hmm. and sus means dirt. Right. But it could mean pig. Right, because in Spanish, dirt is su dirty is sucio, right? Sucio, right. Yeah. Sucio. So really, it's earth dirt. So you, so you praise an earth dirt. And then you be saying that like he's gonna come out, come out the heavens too. Be, like he's going like <laughs> he's just gonna magically appear in front of you. Oh, I mean, you know. Hey, the church is called on Jesus. Hey, the church is called on Jesus all the time. They put the emphasis on the word. Oh yeah. They oh yeah. In Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Jesus. Now, if they're calling on the Most High, the Most High should wake up and say, "Hey, stupid! You call my right. name. You're an Israelite, you dumbass." <laughs> You'd be better off saying Jesus, which is what you would have heard back during the time of what they called Jesus, which his name is Yahweh Shai. You wouldn't have heard Jesus. <coughs> you would have heard Jesus because they had the Greek back then. Right. All right. And that was wrong too. And that was wrong. 
because right. he's not Greek. He, right. Hebrews 7 and 14, it says, for, for it is evident our Lord sprung out the tribe of Judah. What language is predominantly, now they did speak Greek, some of the some of the Judites, but the predominant language they spoke was Hebrew. Mm -hmm. when, when the angel Gabriel came to Joseph and Mary, the angel Gabriel spoke Hebrew. Joseph yep. and Mary spoke Hebrew. Yep. So when the angel Gabriel told uh, Joseph and Mary, this is what you name your son, he told him in the Hebrew language. Yep. So that's what you need to know. Oh, you saw the last video that they did where they had the chick from IUIC asked him, give me the name of oh, the yeah. Bible. And it came to the guy, give me a name in the Bible which, that starts with what? Yeah. And the dude, yeah, stupid first of all, you had Yahweh, you had Yahweh shot. Right. And he said, Yakub. And yeah. Yakub ain't even a word. It's Yakwa. That shows you that they're not teaching the truth, the name of Yahweh. That's why we get on you guys, man. Then he had, a, he had the most stupidest look on his face, too. Yakub. Then he had them long, sheeted, 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 jack, jatters. Shiva Jatters, that's what it's called. Mm. <laughs> Shitter. Shitter. First time I heard that. Yeah, yeah Shiva Jatters. That's what, that's what it's called. Oh, even the sister Lady C. Good luck. She said, we know the name is not Jesus. We know the name is uh, Yahweh Shah. Yeah. She didn't say Yahweh Shah, she said Yahweh Shah. Sure. Which means what? She's been listening to us. Mm. Right. And not just us. She's been listening to us. She's probably been listening to Sakari. She's probably listened to ISUPK because you know what? They gave a list of the other groups and they, and they mentioned GMS. He said, yeah, GMS. ISUPK is another one. He, she said, we know the name. Jesus is not the real name. You brothers, what's the real name of the Lord? Mm. Then in the uh, befuddled, mm. and the one guy said, Yaku, she said, Emmanuel. Yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. how the fuck are you supposed to know the name, man? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is his name? Oh, Proverbs. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Proverbs 30. Yeah. Who, have, who, have, who have bound the waters? As a matter of fact, I, I just said, so What is his name? What is his son's name? Oh. Yeah, you can call it. You already know it, brother. Yeah. What, is, what is his name? What is his son's yeah. name? If thou can tell. Yep. Mm -hmm. Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? He's talking about the power of the Heavenly Father. And if there's one thing the Heavenly Father likes to do, is talk about his power. Because he's the ultimate Judah. You know the you know Judah, man. Yo, man, I'll dust you off. Man. Right, right, right. You know, that's Judah's spirit. Yep. So the Heavenly Father is the same way. He loves talking about his power. It says, Who have ascended up into heaven or descended? Who have gathered the wind in his fist? Who have bound the waters in a garment? <laughs> the Heavenly Father has done all that. What uh, who have established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name if thou canst tell? Because there was a voice that came out the chariot. And the voice said about Yahweh Shai, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased, hear ye him. So that was the first creation of the Heavenly Father Yahweh. So he's very pleased of his son. Also, this story is, we should bring it out a lot. I believe it's Acts 26 and 13. Acts 26 and 13. Either 13 yep, or I get 13. it. You know what I want. Yeah, yeah. And Paul got knocked off the horse. Yep. Mm. It was a ship that came down and yeah. used a, a beam that knocked the horse. Right, off. right, right. He yep. said he became blind, and that's an indication from a UFO. When you encounter a UFO, you get blind temporarily. Mm -hmm. Come on. Acts 26 and 13. At midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven. That was a ship. Above that the volcano, that was a ship, a UFO, you can understand. Right. Come on. Above the brightness of the sun, shining round, shining round about me, and them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue. In the Hebrew, not the Greek, mm -hmm. not the English. Come on. Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, who art thou, Lord? Now stop right there. Who art thou, Lord? Word, the word there for Lord is what? See if y'all think. I've been saying it on the videos lately. He oh. said, Who art thou, Lord? What is what is the word there in the Greek? Um, oh, in the Greek. Uh, Kyrie? Kyrie. 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 I've been saying it. Right, right. I've been saying it. Yeah. Right. Because this guy, Kyrie Irvin, said, Well, I look up to my name and it means the name of the Lord. No, it does not mean the name of the Lord. It's a title, it just means sir. It's a parable. Right. 
Go ahead. And I said, who art Let's thou, Lord? Come on. And, 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 who uh, art thou, sir? Yes. Yeah. That's what he actually said. And he would have been speaking to... Uh, now, a nigga in the church would say, Lord, it's Jesus. He right. said, he, he really said, who art thou, Jesus? <laughs> no, he said, who art thou, superior one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he would have been speaking back to Yahweh in Hebrew. Because Yahweh Shai spoke to him he in spoke Hebrew. Spoke to him in Hebrew. Yep. So Paul was able to speak Hebrew and Greek. That's, that's what made Paul such a, a great asset to the work, because he was able to uh, go between both languages. And he may have even been able to speak Latin. I, I haven't found no, there is no, evidence, no of evidence of that, but he, but knew, he was but a he learned man. Know, he knew Greek. Yeah. He knew Greek and he knew yep. Hebrew fluently. Because you had three predominant languages back then. You had Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. Yep. How do we know this? The Israelites are too. Yeah. And you had so, Israelites. Yep, yep. Yep. Because the, the, the title that was put on the cross, it tells you in John 19, it was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. So that was the three predominant languages that Israelites spoke. How many of you wacky tacky Christians know that? Man? That's why we don't want to talk to you. That's why we don't want to hear. Yeah, don't come around. You know? don't, don't come around us. No more. Don't be sneaking up, sneaking us, sneaking up on us. Right? Even oh, even oh, had a, like, we talked about oh, Hannah oh, earlier in uh, First Samuel the second chapter. Even this was a woman that said this. If, if I may read it real quick. This is a woman saying this, 1 Samuel 2 and 3, right? 1 Samuel 2 and 3, it says, it says, Talk no more so exceeding proudly, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. And a lot of you wacky-tacky Christians, you're arrogant as hell. In your, in your own ignorance, you're arrogant. All right, it says, Talk no more so exceeding proudly, let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a power of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Now this is a woman saying this, Hannah. All right? So what's she saying? The Lord is a power of knowledge. So you got to get the knowledge. If you don't have the knowledge, you should shut up. The scriptures say even a fool is counted wise if he shuts up. And a lot of you wacky tacky Christians, you're a bunch of fools. You don't know, you don't know this. this and you always put your foot in your mouth. That includes you, God. Especially you. <laughs> Okay, uh, back to Acts. Twenty thing about him, this guy was studying. He went to a uh, uh, cemetery school, and he's arrogant. Oh okay, yeah, Malone, he's oh, very yeah. arrogant. Yeah, he's, you're 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 a pound of relief, bro. Uh, Acts, is and, he uh, on there talking shit? <laughs> I haven't seen. Remember him. you? Remember you rolled up on us? He's all about the comic book. When you comic talking shit. And we didn't realize he was right around the corner. That, that, but that's how serpents operate. Mm -hmm. Remember yeah. that. Serpents operate like that. <laughs> hey, an adder in the an adder in the way, brother. Mm. Yeah. Remember one time he had a he had a he was wearing a uh, cloven uh, uh, what was that cobra? cobra oh yeah. Panda. Yeah. yeah. No, he well he was a cobra. Yeah, oh yeah. A oh, snake. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He had the whole outfit, too. Yeah, from G.I. Joe. It was yeah. the Cobra Commando. Yeah, yeah he had the yeah, hat. Yeah, yeah. He had the big snake on the, the Cobra snake on the hat. Yeah, he's, and a, the, he's a comic enthusiast. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a big kid. Anyway, uh, Acts 26 and 13. At midday, O King, I saw in the way a light from heaven above the brightness of the sun shining round about me and them which journeyed with me. And when we, had, when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the bricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? In the Hebrew. Right? And he said, I am Yahawashai, whom thou persecutest. And he didn't say I'm Jesus. Right. Right. Impossible. He didn't, he didn't say I'm Christ. Right. Ain't no J in the Hebrew. Ain't no J in the Hebrew. It, it would have that's, been a, that's a good question for a Christian. What, yeah. what, 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 did he, what did he say? He said, Jesus. No. He said, yeah, he's speaking in Hebrew. Yeah, what language is he speaking in? Was he speaking English? He's speaking nope. Hebrew. Mm -hmm. Was he speaking Greek? The conversation, the back and forth conversation was in Hebrew. Right. The Lord spoke first, and he spoke in the Hebrew. Right. And Saul, or Paul, spoke to him back in Hebrew. He said, oh, this guy speaks Hebrew. Right. Let me speak to him back in Hebrew. He said, what, who are you? He said, I am Yahweh Shah. Exactly. He said, Anya Yahweh Shah. Right. Anya meaning I am. Exactly. Acts 26 and... It's like the fucking shit in the movie. Mm. Yeah. 
That's that's what you're saying. Yep, yep. The name, that's how powerful the name is. Yeah, yeah. Satan angry. Cause we, demons are good. Yeah, we put in that vibration now and we're gonna yeah. keep on putting exactly. that vibration. Hey, well that's the scripture. Those uh -huh. <laughs> 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 Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Those, yeah. those, who, yeah. those who stood so stiff. Next, you're gonna have red leaf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All noise and shit. Yeah. Those the who picture of Bokeh with the cobra. <laughs> yeah. I'm coming to get you, son. And <laughs> yeah, that's that scripture. Those who stood. So you gotta laugh at this, man. Oh, yeah. We know Satan. Yeah, yeah. Come. Uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against rulers and approaching wickedness in high places. Yep. So we didn't get all mad. Not nope. ignorant of the You ain't gonna throw Coke bottles at him. Nope. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a, a Ming the Merciless. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, come out next week. Make sure you bring Coca-Cola and Sprite and Jordan. Right. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, back to Acts 26 and 15. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Yehoshua, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand up upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in the which I will appear unto thee. So what, so what does that mean? The Yehoshua himself came directly he didn't right. go to Peter and say, look, I want to set up a meeting with Paul. He went directly to Paul. And right. what did he say? He's going to make you a, make you a minister. Right. Yeah. So what is a minister? A servant to do what he tells you to do. Right. Right. And so you got Shikari talking about, well, that's Paul's opinion. There ain't no Paul's opinion. Now, there's certain times where Paul does give an opinion, and he says it. That's an opinion. Right. He'll say it. Right. distinction. We made a distinction, meaning yeah. if you if you can stay without a wife, it's good. I wish you could be like right. me. But if you got if you marry, go ahead and marry. It's better to marry in the first. Right. Right. So that was an opinion. So you got some brothers that are so in the spirit that they they don't have to deal with no woman. Right. Let's say I'm my last one. I'm so pissed off. I'm not going to deal with women. I'm just going to dedicate myself to school. And you got other brothers that have women, but they still dedicated to the church. That's what Paul meant. Right. So it doesn't mean, because he made that statement, and everything Paul said, oh, that's his opinion. He's just saying shit out the side of his mouth. <laughs> but then, wait a minute, didn't, didn't the Most High make him a minister? Yep. Yeah. So yep. he's doing the will of the Most High. Yep. Yeah. St. Paul said, Why I... Why did he say I'm going to receive a crown at the end? Right, right. right. Because, not because he's telling his own fucking opinion. Right. right. Well, yeah, he has said it. Uh, uh, I say the truth in the Howard Shine. I lie not. You said that. That was yeah. Apostle Paul. Uh, he said that. Go ahead. Bro. He said uh, that I am I am the least of the apostles. Of yep. the, uh, well, I'm apostles. not fit to be called an apostle before I persecuted the church. Right. He said that. Right. He was a very humble man, but look. Heavy not, in the spirit. Like the Lord said about his people, they're disobedient and gainsaying people. Right. That's our people in a nutshell. They're, they're a bunch of scorpions, disobedient, gainsaying. That's what the Lord, the Lord already told us about his people. Hey, how did the Apostle Paul know about Melchizedek? Break, break Melchizedek down. Mm. But when you go to Genesis, it doesn't break down. Right. It just mentions Melchizedek, mm. King of Salah, right? It doesn't say, I believe, I'm not sure. I don't know if it says neither have a father or mother. I don't know if it's in Genesis, but I know it's in Hebrews 7. Yeah, right. I think that's the first time, yeah, you, it, it'll 7. say that. So right. we knew about Melchizedek because right. of what Paul said. Right. And right. how did Paul know so much about Melchizedek? Right, so right. Because Melchizedek, right, no, no, Melchizedek told me. Okay. Melchizedek oh. is your house. Right, oh, right. 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 You know? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now you want to talk about uh, yeah. the Lord coming down, having uh, having Joseph not have, being his father. Well, when, when he came down, having no father and mother. How about that, Bocab? Mm -hmm. It said he just came on the scene. Right. Now Chesedek, which is the king of righteousness, mm -hmm. which is Yahushai, he just came on the scene. Yep. Right. He was an angel in the spiritual realm, and he just beamed down to earth and yep. he became a man. Yep. Right. Yep. He, he didn't have no father and mother. Yep. But this time he had a father and a mother. Yeah, he met Abraham when Abraham came back from whipping those king's asses. The king, the king. Yeah. He'll be a high priest forever. He was too was terrible. Right after the order of Mount yeah. 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 Yeah, because, oh, that's heavy, yeah. because Melchizedek wasn't of the tribe of Eden. 
It wasn't of no tribe. It was a well. He's a tribe of Judah. Tribe of Judah. You know yeah, why yeah. I say that? Yeah, yeah. No, Judah. Yeah, Jacob yeah. is a form of all oh, things. Right, right, right. That, that makes sense. Of Judah. Right. That makes right. sense. Isaiah 48. Oh, I had that. Oh, another thing that uh, uh, Adam was is Judah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. yeah right. Right. Yeah. How would that? Another thing um, about these about Alizai's, you know, he basically he had said, I don't know if he still believes it. You can only be a priest if you come out the tribe of Levi. Well, back then, of course. Yeah. Back then, but right. But in the kingdom, we're all going to be Right. Priests. A kingdom of priests. I don't know if he still, but that's his attitude. Right. Well, well, that, well, well, that's his attitude. That, like you said the right thing. That's his attitude. Mm -hmm. Right. Look, he said we're going to be a kingdom of priests. He mm -hmm. said all the tribes are going to be priests. Let's get into that. Because you like to have that versus thing. You know, Sakai versus. <laughs> versus GFS. You know, we'll, 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 we'll play with you. And they're the epitome of that. Ain't no gonna be no in the kingdom of heaven. Ain't gonna be well. These are the Levites, right? You Judah, you ain't no priest. Well, guess what? That means we don't know the Lord, right? So when, when I say go, uh, um, give me, give me uh, Exodus nineteen and, and uh, nineteen and one. Okay. The key verses start about the fourth verse. We go to one. And they're the epitome of that scripture. At least being a novice, lifted up. Oh yeah. Because they're they're relatively new to this thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> relatively new. You know, but they're but they're lifted up with pride because they get a lot of views. What does that mean? The, 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 the script, there's a scripture where it says, "The voice of the wise I heard in quiet more than the cry of him that mm -hmm. ruleth for Mount Fools." Yeah, but these guys that be getting uh, ain't nothing wrong with getting a lot of views. But let's say you get a, a guy, you do a video, he gets ten thousand views. Are those ten thousand that listen to you faithfully? Are they out there doing the work? Exactly. The scriptures in James speak about. Be ye doers of the word and not hear his own and deceive in one side. A lot of these people come and, and, and watch these videos for entertainment purposes okay. only. Like you see these other guys, these other Jakes, mm -hmm. Tyreek Machine, and Doc Kumar. They'll get 100,000 hits, but then people get entertained by that. That's, right. that's entertainment. So they all, oh, well, here comes the Hebrew Israelite video. Let me watch it, you know, mm -hmm. let me watch that. You ain't keeping the Passover, you ain't keeping the Sabbath, yeah. you're committing adultery, you probably are in the closet half a fag. Mm. Mm. You know? Yeah. yeah. Guarantee you, brother, if you got 10, 15, 15, 20,000 listen to you, ain't no 50, ain't no 20,000 mm, no. Israelite, one group of Israelites out there. No. Well, you got different groups all over the goddamn place. A lot of these people watch these videos for entertainment purposes only, man. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, it is right here. Ecclesiastes 9 and 17. The words of, of wise men are heard in quiet more than the cry of him that ruleth among fools. So, so what's the point then? The point is, those that are really, really teaching the truth, you know, they're not going to be, you know, not, they're not going to be, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? They're not going to be uh, uh, as, as popular, for lack of a better word, as those that Basically, uh, you know, scriptures uh, speak about the straight gate. Yeah, straight is the way that leadeth to, you know, uh, paradise. Or wide is the way that leadeth to destruction. Men paraphrase it, and it says, "Straight is the straight is the way, and few there be that find it." Right there, you go. All right, Exodus, ex Exodus 19, verse one. In the third month, when the children of Israel were gone forth out of the land of Egypt, the same day came they into the wilderness of Sinai. For they were departed from Rephidim, and were come to the desert of Sinai, and had pitched in the wilderness, and there Israel camped before the mount. And Moses went up unto the Most High, and the Lord called unto him out of the mountain, saying, Thus shalt thou say to the house of Jacob, and tell the children of Israel, Ye, ha ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bear you on eagles' wings, and brought you unto myself. Now therefore, if ye will obey my voice indeed, and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people. But did they do that? No. So we had to go through all this back in hell, but right. guess what? We're going to get it right this time, because the most are going to change it. Right. Starting with the elect. For all the earth is mine, 
and ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an... talking to you talking to all the Israelite men right Judah Benjamin Levi they're all gonna be priests right now you got a priesthood set up which is the Levites <clears throat> but all of us are gonna be priests and why all of us are gonna be priests because we're gonna be priests unto the other nations right what was the ultimate uh, title of a king of Israel? He was really the head priest. Right. He was like the Supreme Court. Mm. That's what it was all about. He was like the head priest, even though the kings of Judah, the kings of Judah. Right. Come on. And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation. These are the words. A holy nation, not a holy tribe. Yep. So the holy nation, meaning Judah, Benjamin, Levi, yep. they're all going to be priests, which includes uh, Levi. Mm -hmm. And the first priest was a what? A Judah, Mount Chesedek. Yep. It said that uh, Levi paid tithe, Levi paid tithes in uh, through Abraham. Paid tithes to Mount Chesedek. Abraham paid tithes to Mount Chesedek. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's way before the law. The law, fact, you know, I mean, the to, uh, written law. Last since we're talking on this, uh, Hebrews 7. Okay. Got the Hebrews is uh, the whole book of Hebrews. That's a lot of information, man. And that showed you right there that how Shai was dealing with uh, the Apostle Paul heavy. Yes. Now, why do you think Peter, the Apostle Peter made that statement? Right. Mm -hmm. And some things are hard to be understood. He was going over people's head because right. your Shai was giving them heavy knowledge. And even when he told it to people, it was going over their heads. Yeah, like the head thing. Possible. 613. Just give me that. Okay. I'm just going to Yeah, like, I'm getting into it. Yeah, no, I know, I know. Like the head thing. I'll tell them, uh, like. Tell them, tell them, uh, tell them, uh. 630? Oh, 630. Yeah, like I knew that was going to happen. Yeah, yeah, that was coming. Yeah, like the head thing, you know? The Apostle Paul said a man ought not to have long hair. Because it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, disgrace unto him. And uh, you got these Israelites that, re that, that are being stubborn and, and rebellious. You know, they want to they want to wear that long head. They wear wearing long... hats. You're supposed to be wearing hats. Yeah. Another thing with the hats. Hats, yeah. do rags, long hair. Yep. Uh, uh, this is a quick precept. Hosea four and six. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Now, who's the Lord's? Think of the car said. Uh, somebody asked him about the. Uh, Long hair, somebody called in. Well, what about the long hair? Paul said, Not to hear. have long hair. If you're a man, it's a shame for a man to have long hair. You know what Deacon of God said? He said, I'd only apply it to the church of Rome. Well, if that's the case, them people, them men that still want to have long hair, they would say, You know what? I'm moving to the church of Ephesus. <laughs> I'm to, going to Thessalonica. That's yeah. all they had to do. That's all they had to do. Yep. This uh, is uh, 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 IUIC. They say, the, oh, the long hair is not talking about long hair. It's talking about feminine hair. No, it doesn't. No, it says long hair. If you wear it in a feminine way, it doesn't say that. That's your guilty. All of y'all are guilty of adding to the book and taking away from the book. If you're guilty, if you're guilty of adding to the book, guess what? You're guilty of taking away the, from it first. Because if you take away something, you got to add something to it. got to add something back to it. Uh, Hosea 4 and 6, my people are destroyed for, who's the Lord's people? All the Israelites, all 12 tribes. So it says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And hence the point, that thou shalt be no priest to me. So the Lord said, his people are destroyed. And it ain't just Levi destroyed for lack of knowledge, mm -hmm. it's all his people, all the tribes. Right. So then the latter part of the verse says, uh, that thou shalt be no priest. You got in touch, touch with him already? Yeah, so I'll, I'll give him a call. He's telling me to chill out for about another yep. uh, 15 minutes, uh, 6.30. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. So that right there gives you an idea that all the tribes are supposed to be priests unto the Heavenly Father. Who's there for and six? They're already lined up. Yeah, they're already lined up. So. Hey, you know what? Forget about it. We're going to go, right. we're going to go another five minutes and we're going to close. Okay. Yep, let me read that again. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I also will reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. So basically all... all these... Are the Levites priests today? 
You go, go down to Haiti, brother. No, no, Them no, no. in the food. Hey, Shalom. They got them gangs. Yeah, yeah, no, man, that, that is straight yeah, hell down there in Haiti, uh, man. Yeah, it's straight I, hell down there I, in I, Haiti. I feel so. Just scratch the message that I just sent. Right? Yeah. Uh, so. yeah, and the latter part of the verse says, I will also reject thee. And that ties into what Apostle just said. That's why the so-called Haitians are rejected. But the point is, the Lord said, my people, meaning all the tribes. Then the latter part of the verse, it says, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. So use an extrapolation, right? You see that the, all the people of the Lord, all his people are supposed to be priests, his sons. All the 12 tribes, they're supposed to be what? Priests. That's the point. Because he said, you, I'll reject you and you, you will be no priest to me. Seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, I will also forget thy children. This ain't just referring to the Levites. Did, did, did the, uh, the Haitians keep on in the laws of the most high? Oh, no. They're doing what they want to do. They're in the right. witchcraft and the voodooism. Yeah. So this ain't just talking about the Levites. This, and by the way, Hosea, what tribe was Hosea from? Hosea was an Ephraimite. He was of the tribe of Ephraim. So was, was he talking about the, uh, the, the law of the head? <laughs> right? Because the law is supposed mm -hmm. to be for all the sons of Israel, right. all, the, all the 12 tribes. And they're all going to be priests of the Lord. As a matter of fact, that ties into Isaiah, the second chapter, where it says all the nations are going to be taught of the Lord in the kingdom. What time is it now? Uh, 618. 618? Yeah. Uh, 620. Yeah. Okay. Two more minutes. Yeah. Uh, as a matter of fact, if I can get that real quick, Isaiah, the second chapter. Who you think going to teach the other nations uh, the, the laws and the commandments? The Israelite men, which which they're all gonna be priests. Put this put this in put this in the car. Isaiah two. Isaiah two and three. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. This is in the kingdom, to the house and the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. So who's gonna teach the other nations the law, statutes, commandments in the all kingdom? All the Israelite men. Because they're all gonna be priests. Not just Levi. There it is, right there. Isaiah. We don't need the Levites is not going to teach Judah or any of the tribes the law because they're going to all know the Lord. That means right. all the tribes, all the Israelite men will know the Lord for the for the purpose of what? Teaching the other nations. Like it says. What were you read now? Isaiah two. Isaiah two and, uh, and it's two. also Micah. Uh, what's yep. that? Micah four and two. Huh. Isaiah 2 and 2, and it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen, it's a future prophecy. By the way, that's in the Old Testament. So you wacky-tacky Christians, we don't deal with the Old Testament, we only deal with the New Testament. I explain this. This prophecy hasn't happened yet, and it's in the Old Testament. Isaiah 2 and 2, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established. That's when Israel is established in the land of Israel, in the top of the mountains, and shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall flow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye, and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Let's go to Israel, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways. The law is statutes commandments. Right. right. And we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. So who's going to teach the law? What, just the Levites? No, all the tribes. Mm -hmm. They're going to teach. They're going to be priests. Because we're supposed to be, remember, Hosea 4 and 6. The kingdom of priests. Yep. The kingdom of priests. King, what is the kingdom? The kingdom consists of what? The men of Israel and then the woman behind them. It's right. really the men. Yep. That's right. Because we don't need the woman. We can deal with any other nation and right. bring back Israel. And, 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 and they're all going to be priests. Not yeah. no Levites. I don't know. These are the Levites. Yeah. No. Judah's going to be priests. Even going to be priests. We're all going to be priests. And we're going to teach the other nations, like it says here. Right? That, that, remember, Yahweh said, not one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass the what? All be fulfilled. Right. So what we're reading here, that got to be fulfilled. So it says, it says, and uh, the third verse, and many people shall go and say, come here and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the power of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem, taught by who? By his men which are all going to be what? Priests. Now, if you can't understand that, then. <laughs> hey, well, that, yeah. hey, shalom yeah, to your yeah, leg, shalom. shalom. All right, brother.